I'll let you in on a little secret. I've discovered a way to become invincible. It just relies on us finding a few specific items. Luckily for us, we can use the artifact of command to just let us pick those items. For our first item, we might take a repulsion armor plate. That can reduce some damage we take, so that'll be important for later. Now, if I can take everybody out here, I'll take that orange item as well, please. Ow. Oh no, we got frozen. Now we found this orange item. And here we're going to take the Trophy Hunter's Tricorn. This thing will set us up so well because we can just one hit the first boss, basically. Oh my god, there's so many flyers. They're already trying to overwhelm us. Okay, next white. Ow, stop shooting me. The next white item is this Topaz Brooch. That means every time we kill an enemy, we get a little bit of a bonus shield. So some added protection. A little bit of movement speed too from a goat's hoof is always needed as well. Ouch. Look <laughs> at this gun floating behind me. Now we're already at two and a half minutes. Still just trying to get all the items we can. There's a few key items we do not have yet. It's really important we find those. Oh, perfect. We got our first green item. And this is where things really start to come together with the razor wire. Taking the razor wire means now all damage we take will do damage to enemies. And we got a second green. So I'll take another razor wire to let that effect be even stronger. Okay, we're just going to find where this portal is now. Maybe we'll take an energy drink here. That means that our sprint speed is a little bit faster. Well, there's lots of enemies in here. Okay, let's take this money and we found the teleporter. So let's spawn this boss. And hopefully with our Q item, we can just one shot the boss. <laughs> oh, that's so good. All right, now we're just going to do a bit of a cleanup crew and everyone else. Oh, we found a Luna coin as well. That's nice. Because we use that trophy hunter gun, now we've got a special boss item. We're going to take this one down here, the planula. Every time we take damage, we're going to be healed a little bit. Now we're starting to get an idea where this build is going. We're taking reduced damage from enemies. The damage we are taking is healing us. And every time we kill an enemy, we're gaining an extra shield on top of that healing. And also doing damage back to the enemies. And we're not even close to done yet. Things are going to get insane from this point on. But after using our trophy gun the first time, it's kind of turned to mush. <laughs> It's a once only use. So we're just gonna buy another one before we go through the teleporter. Okay, now we're in stage two. We've still got a few key items we need to pick up. Uh, but first I need to get some money. So let's find some enemies that we can take out. I can hear some big footsteps here. Oh, that's the guy. Now actually, why don't we test out how strong we're looking now by standing right in front of this gun. He didn't really do much to us at all. He basically just killed himself on our shield. <laughs> We'll try a backup magazine here. This gives us an extra right click ability. Now we can use this little flying thing twice. Maybe one more armor is all we need as well. So now we've got two of those and a lot of brooches that are giving us a shield. Oh, there's another one. All right. You want to give it a go again? <laughs> Can't even touch me at all. All right. This thing's really good. An adaptive chest. We just got to choose it at the right time. Okay. We only got a common. We'll take some extra crit chance from these lens makers glasses. Since we've got another Trophy Hunter's gun, we're just going to spawn the boss straight away. Uh, oh, where did he go? Is he down here? <gasps> He's down here. Oh, I fell. Okay, let's just one-shot him. <laughs> the Trophy Hunter's Tricon is so overpowered. And we get this special boss item every time. I think this time we're going to take this one here. A Charged Perforator. So it means every time we do an attack, we've got a chance to do a lightning strike. I'm pretty sure that includes the damage we do from our razor wire as well. And we still get our green item over here. We might start getting some other damage, like these ATG missiles, which have a chance to spawn every time our razor wire does damage. So if we just stand here, we should spawn some missiles like that. Oh yeah, there they go. They didn't have any targets though, because everyone was dead. Perfect. We've got this little blue orb going around our portal. It's exactly what we needed to make this build super overpowered. And so far, we've got most of the items we really needed for this build, but there's some really important ones that we still need. And we'll find these in this bizarre between time. Now, we've got to spend Luna coins to buy these items. But this is the most important one. The Hellfire Tincture. It says it ignites everything nearby, including ourselves. <laughs> so every time we use this item now, we're going to cause damage to ourselves. And you know the rest. There's another one of these blue items that works really well with it. And that's called the Gesture of the Drowned. It halves the cooldown on our tincture and makes it proc automatically. So basically we can just run around and that thing's going to be causing damage to all of the enemies around us. And then of course that means it's going to be healing us as well. I'm pretty sure if you can find five gesture of the drowns, then basically our tincture will be going 100% of the time. So if we can find two more, we're going to pick them up for sure. 
Okay, on to stage three. And I feel like we're crazy powerful. Our ability is now just proccing whenever it likes on its own. And as you can see, things around us are just disintegrating as soon as they spawn. And all the damage we're doing is spawning things like our missiles for free. Oh, there's a big chest down here. And we get another green item. So this time we might get a ukulele that's gonna help our AOE damage. That has a very good effect, as you can imagine. Now I've got quite a few good green items. So let's keep building up a few more ATG missiles. And at this point, I'm not even shooting the enemies. I'm just kind of running around the map, which is the desired effect. Oh, okay, we've got a legendary item here. This is huge, actually. For our first legendary, why don't we take this one here, these horns, Nkuhana's opinion. The best thing about this is every time we're healed to a certain amount, we can cause more damage to the enemies. And at the moment, we're pretty much healing consistently. Oh my God, I'm finding it hard to even see where the enemies are before they're taken out. <laughs> Now I'm just going to focus a little bit on movement speed just so we can run around and collect all of our loot much faster. Now I'm not distracted by actually having to shoot enemies because they're just dying as I'm walking around like so. That was all those skulls from that legendary item we have. Okay, and the portal's just here. So let's just activate it straight away. Let's see how quickly this thing disappears with our new items. Uh, pretty quickly, I would say. That was less than five seconds and he completely disappeared. A little bit more AOE should help keep things moving along though. I did attack then, but I probably didn't even need to, which is very unlike me. There's an easy way to play the game. That's usually the first thing I try. I don't know what's come over me. Am I sick? Okay, so now we're just waiting around for this teleporter to activate, but we do have this little blue swirl, which means we can go one more time to the bazaar. And that's where we're gonna find the last two gesture of the drowns that we need to make this AOE damage permanent. Oh man, we're getting really fast now with all of these speed items. Okay, there's one. And two, perfect. You can also collect these items too. That can improve the time it takes for the teleporters to activate, which is pretty much all we're waiting on right now. All right, our job is done here. Our AOE is definitely up 100% of the time. And all I can hear is that ticking away. It's like, oh, it's a magma worm. Where did he come from? I wonder if we just stand around. Let's see how quickly he might die. Oh yeah, we took him out, not a problem. There's a way we can get one more legendary item on this map as well. We're just gonna break some eggs that are hidden around the map. But considering we've got this massive AOE, I think that'll just happen automatically as we're running around. Oh, something shot at me. I turned around, it wasn't there. I think it died straight away. Oh, we found a little void item here. Oh, amazing, this is the first one. I had to look these up because I didn't really know what they are, but I think this is the one for us. A poly loot, a chance to repeatedly strike a single enemy with lightning. So that's like an upgraded version of our ukuleles, which is awesome. So you can see we've got three of those. That should really help out with our AOE. Oh, there's a few eggs, see? They just broke automatically. And the boss summoned. Oh, that was so quick. Let's see how quickly we can take him out just by standing around. Gotta be careful though, he does do a lot of damage. Maybe we'll do some shooting as well. Okay, that was so fast, it's unbelievable. <laughs> and we've got our legendary item. I'm going to pick it up straight away. Now, this is another thing that will work really well with this build. This Aegis means that we can heal past our max health with a barrier, which is kind of insane. <laughs> I mean, I think it's already maxed out. We've just got full armor and it's not going away. Okay, so at this point, we've definitely broken everything. I'm not really worried that anything's going to damage us at all. Oh, and we found one of these shrines. This means we can spawn two bosses instead of one. And that means double the loot, which is amazing. All right, bosses, let's see what you got on stage four. Three magma worms. Okay, I'm not even attacking. And they died so quickly. I don't even know if you can be stronger than this, to be honest. Okay, well, let's go collect all of our loot. I know these two bands are really powerful, so we might pick those up. I'll get one of the bands now, and next time we get a green item, I'll get the second one. Look at us, by the way. It's just constant. It never stops. I'm going to go to sleep tonight hearing this sound. All right, let's get out of here to stage five, though. Sometimes this stage can be a little bit tricky, but I'm feeling confident. Still not attacking, just running around in circles and we seem to be gaining a lot of money. So I assume things are just dying all around us. Just gonna collect a few more chests. Ooh, another green one. Great, we can get the second band. So I'm blast them with runic ice. We could probably just go straight through the final portal, but I think I'll just collect a couple of chests before we do that. All right, here's a big guy. Uh, he died almost immediately, and all he managed to do was give us more maximum shields. Maybe we'll just keep building up our crit. <laughs> that seems like a good thing to do. Oh, a giant orange slime just attacked me. We got one more void item as well. I think taking this one, called the Weeping Fungus, is really great because we can just heal while we're sprinting. 
And that means we're going to be doing even more damage than we're already doing. Oh my god, that thing's shooting me. What is that? Why is it shooting me? Okay, I think it's just time that we turn on this teleporter. I can't possibly be any stronger than this. What have we got here? Oh, some cubes. Some constructs. I don't think I've even seen these before. Um, they didn't last very long, though. I'm meeting all these new enemies for the first time, and they're kind of disappearing too quickly before I can even look at them. Our shield is just sitting over a thousand now, and I'm doing nothing. We're actually getting more health every level. Broken. Totally broken. All right, let's just get out of here. I think we'll have mercy on everyone else in this level, and we'll just move on to the last stage. This is where getting all that movement speed pays off, actually. Now we can finally just run through this last stage without too much issues. But we managed to get all key items that we needed to make this crazy build. I think that this is the hardest standard difficulty in the game. And all we're doing is just kind of running through it. This is totally broken. And these guys are normally strong. Should we see what happens to them? Melted. We're just going to activate a few of these pylons so that we can get to the final boss. All right, this pylon's making it very difficult for me to activate. It keeps punting me away. Actually, if I jump, it can't shock me away. I just have to keep jumping up and down in this tiny little area. All right, there we go. There's the first one down, though. This is our second pillar of four that we've found. This one's great. It doesn't knock me back. It ticks up so quickly, though. Now, even though we've broken the game with this build, pretty much, there's still a chance the final boss could take us out so easily. It's possible we might even just one-hit ourselves. So we might need a lot of luck to take him out. Okay, things are dying all around me so quickly that I can barely even see them. Also, this sound is just getting crazy obnoxious. I just realized our health's already over 1,200. It just keeps going up. Okay, that was our last pylon though. So all we need to do is get to this little thing over here and we can be on our way to the boss. Oh, here he is. I'm so nervous. Hello, Mithrix. I don't think you're ready for this. All right. Melting. Uh, things seem to be going very well. All right. So he's just come down from space again. And if we go over and hug him, we should be able to do all of our damage to him close up. This is quite fun. I think this is how this game was intended to be played. All right. Well, that's phase one down. This phase should be even easier, to be honest. Just a whole bunch of these little guys, which shouldn't be a problem at all for us to take out. All they should really do is make our shields proc even faster. They just immediately send our health back to full. Oh, and here's Mithrix again. Uh, he's already about half health, and we've been here for two seconds. We got to the final phase pretty easy. He's stolen all of my things. Oh! Uh, we just got insta-killed. That's what I was afraid would happen. I think we flew way too close to the sun. If you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? Love you. Mwah. Okay, bye.